very strong. She had cancer, breast cancer, when she was young. She survived. There's the light she again. She raised a lot of money for other women to get mammograms. She it, see, that it just get them and went that off. She did this and now it doesn't appear to be anywhere. She did. At the condominium, yeah. What oh, is this she thing? <laughs> but she had like a Buick and she would drive around the country. There it is. These, like, fake Gucci watches. <laughs> there it is again. For like $30. I mean, it would break all the time. And she had a little um, screwdriver. Pete. She would fix it right there. She was a doer. She was a Whoa, there's doer. more than one. Cheryl has written about Rosalind's. That's crazy. And sees her as both an inspiration and as a precursor for her own accomplishments. There's more than one. But we found something that Cheryl hadn't seen before. Now I just see the one, though. The two together even more closely. Rosalind That's Collins, crazy. Which showed that she and her granddaughter shared the same major. Now it disappeared again. You could see that she majored in economics. I did not what know that. is this thing? Did you know that? Did not know that. She grew up very poor. Wait. Right? So it's considered a very big triumph that she got to college at all. Okay. Do you know much about her childhood? I know some. What? Wow. Her parents got divorced. Right. But divorce in those days. There it they is. They were very, very unhappy. Yeah. And she grew up, it was, I think, very hard. Well, let's take a closer look. Would you please turn the page? 1930. This is the federal census for the Bronx. Would you please read the transcribed section? Yeah. Israel Nuss rents his home for $35 per month, 47 years old, occupation, mail clerk in a post office. Sarah, our wife, is 37 years old. Florence is daughter, 13 years old, that's my Aunt Florence, and Rosalind, my grandmother, is 12 years old, 